Welcome to the first episode of Aravaipa Colorado TV. Where we talk about people, places, and happenings in the mountain, ultra, and trail world. Mostly within, but not limited to, Colorado. I'm your host, Ali Mack, joined here and there by my co-host, Harley. In this episode, we'll have the Athlete Spotlight, where we catch up with local runners and get their take on the best trails and the best local places to eat. Next, we'll have Trail Running Cribs, where we get an inside look at Trail Running's most groovy living spots. And lastly, we'll take a look at upcoming Aravaipa events here in Colorado. Today for our Athlete Spotlight, we got to catch up with Corinne Chauvoy, one of Aravaipa's race team members. We visited her favorite trail and got to eat at her favorite local spot, Wild Blue Yonder. Hi, my name is Corinne Chalvoy. I am on the Aravaipa racing team, and I was born and raised in the beautiful San Juan Mountains of Colorado, in Uray, Colorado, and I currently reside in Castle Rock, Colorado. And I'm super excited to be part of the team again this year. I'm really looking forward to some races. I started trail running probably in about 2017 um, after going through having my two sons and kind of just recreationally running I decided to train for um, a local race Imogene the Imogene Mountain Run which was co-founded by um, my uncle actually so that uh, along with starting to trail run with my husband kind of got me inspired to do a little bit more in the mountains um, and after running cross country and track in uh, high school I just decided to venture onto the trails and really found a love for it, enjoyed it much more than I thought I would, and started to go a little bit longer and train consistently over the following few years. So I'm really looking forward this year to um, venturing out of the States and running CCC as part of the UTMB series. But first up, I will be running in the Black Canyon 100K in just about four weeks from now. So I have two local uh, favorite trail running spots, and one is Indian Creek, uh, about 30 minutes from here near, near Sedalia. And it is very remote. There's a lot of climbing. It's almost at 8,000 feet. Um, it's a great training ground with a little bit of technical terrain. I go there pretty often when the weather permits. Um, also, locally, right near my house, about a mile away, I can access the Ridgeline Trail System. And the Ridgeline Trail System has up to 50K worth of trails, really kind of right out my back door. They're rolling and um, an opportunity to be able to do a lot of different types of workouts from intervals to a little bit of climbing work to just understanding how to shift gears on kind of punchy, really switchbacky terrain, um, which I actually I think translates really well for something like a Black Canyon, which kind of has the undulating terrain and, and not a lot of continuous ups or downs. So that system is one that I run on at least twice a week. Um, our local running club, the Castle Rock Run Club, goes and meets Wednesday mornings and Friday mornings at 5.30. Uh, rain, shine, literally every single Wednesday or Friday, if you went to the Bison um, Park Trailhead, you would see somebody there running. So our classic loop is about 6.4 miles, about 700 feet of climbing. You can extend that longer or shorter depending on what you want to do and uh, we are just always out there. I feel like Castle Rock has really become um, a wonderful place for my husband and my family. We have a great community here not only in the trail running scene but also know many of the local business owners. Um, one of our favorite restaurants downtown is Wild Blue Yonder which was started, it's, it's the Wild Blue Yonder Brewery which was started by uh, the Wassons who actually their son went to uh, daycare with our son and they are an awesome family that had a dream to start a brewery and just went for it and it's become a really wonderful spot for people to gather also has amazing food and amazing local brews of course 
So they have this awesome patio outside, and two years ago we had a Western States watch party out there, and everybody brought their families, and we all just hung out, and there was like six different iPads set up, and we were all watching the um, watching the race for a few hours, and I think right at the end it literally like froze right when Walmsley was about to cross the finish line, and everyone was like, ah! <laughs> but it was a super fun time. Yeah, it's a great spot. Yeah, I think he met him that year. Oh, the Gouda should have won. Not grilled cheese, smoked Gouda, cheddar, bacon, fried egg, and drizzled with creamy tomato vodka sauce. All right, what can I get started for you? Okay, I'm gonna do the Johnny Bravocado BLT. All right, excellent work with the with the pun name. Yes. What would you like on the side? Oh, and can I add turkey to that, please? Yeah, I can. Yes, and then I also would like to have some pork breast. Her Brussels yeah. decision. How about you? Okay. <laughs> 2019. Oh, okay. we got a couple others. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks so much to Corinne for joining us on our very first episode here. We will be cheering for her at Black Canyon. Next, we head to Durango for trail running cribs where we get an inside look of the Ultra House with Miguel Moreno and Anthony Kunkel. Hey everyone, my name is Miguel Moreno. Um, I'm from Phoenix, Arizona, and I own the Ultra House uh, in downtown Phoenix. And uh, we're here in Durango today, um, actually for a couple of weeks to train. Um, the Ultra House Durango's is probably a, an idea that I've wanted to uh, create for a couple of years now. Um, Anthony Kunkel is the owner and the host of the Ultra House here in Durango. And uh, I remember when I first met Anthony, I had uh, an anniversary party at the Ultra House in Phoenix. And you might have heard some of uh, some of these runners like uh, Jim Wamsley, uh, Jamil. Um, they were all there. We we're all hanging out and you know just partying. And this was before Jim was a, a big deal. And uh, I see his dog come into my house. I'm like, what? There's a stray dog in here. It must be from the hood. And uh, and then I see this other guy. He's like running around, no shirt, long hair. I'm like, who's this guy? And uh, it was Anthony. And, uh, and I introduced myself, I'm like, how did you hear about us? He's like, oh, Phil Slama, he invited me, and uh, he came over, and he kind of hung out with us for a couple of days. And it wasn't really something that we clicked right away. It took a trip of Anthony and I going to Chihuahua, Mexico for the Copper Canyon for Caballo Blanco, and that's where we really build a relationship. I mean, when you're in a car for 15 hours with somebody, you really get to know them. And he was such an easy cat to get along with. I was like, man, this guy, we're vibing. Like, we connect on so many levels. Um, number one, I am, I, I can sleep on the floor. I don't need too much. I'm, I'm always, I try to be excited and happy about the little things in life, right? Um, my history is checkered. Uh, there's a lot of uh, negativity. So now with, with, what's going on and what I've been through. I appreciate everything and everyone that I come across. I treat everybody like they're my best friends. Um, because I, I think any, everybody wants to be respected. And fast forward, I told Anthony, hey man, what if we did an Ultra House Durango, uh, in Durango? He's like, he's all about it. And when you get Anthony talking, the guy, he like nerds out on you too quickly. Like, he'll get into these summaries and paragraphs and I don't understand what the hell he just said. I'm like, hey, can you like dumb it down a little bit because I don't know, I don't understand. And he'll explain it to me in layman's terms. And I think when I have an idea, he supports it. And then he'll, he'll also be critical of it. He's like, what about this, this, this? You know, what about these ideas? What about these angles? And then um, it's funny when I come over He's like, hey man, I want you to try this. I just learned about this. I'm like, all right, man, just put it in my mouth, bro. And he'll like give me some, either it's mushrooms or liver or just 
some random stuff. But I trust him because the guy's a scientist. The guy's a nerd. <laughs> um, and he like, like he had this patch on the other day. He had it on for a couple of weeks, and he's like, "Look at this app, man. I got to I gotta show you. I ate a banana, and look how my 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 sugar level spiked." <laughs> and we're looking at this app, and I'm just like, "All right, so don't eat bananas, right?" So he's so he's like definitely a guy I trust. Um, I'm trying to be a really strong and smart runner. And that's what we're providing here in Durango. And, uh, you know, we have a couple of friends that are com have come out here to share the experience. And it's nice, you know, we understand the importance of rest, um, recovery, nutrition, and we all respect that. Because we're, we're on the same level. Welcome to Ultra Durango. I'm Anthony Kunkel, and I'm going to show you guys around a little bit. We got Will here. Will, Will Remote Code's working here, getting some work done on the bed of nails. Hopefully. <laughs> Focused instead of just painful there. Yeah, you guys rolled in. I was sitting in the recovery boots. So, just some pneumatic boots. Push the blood flow through. You can see my laptop sitting there and some cupping supplies. So, this is, this is a nice active recovery setup. Got the car buffer. That's, that's the best thing on the market for massage therapy. and um, Getting some vibrational therapy. Build the bone density and warm up. Loads of resistance bands dangling on everything. Um, we got a setup for ankle traction. And, hip traction and just doing resistance band work for inverters, everters, stability muscles. The So Right, I'm definitely addicted to this thing. Really, really fun company and I use the hell out of this thing for hip flexors and so as and I'll get you guys on here before you leave for sure. And then yeah, just like wobble board and the full setup, we got the glute hand developer, a little slingshot for getting glute activation, another big old thing of Lactigo, there's, there's Lactigo all over this house. Um, that, stuff, that stuff's the absolute best recovery and for like tempo runs. So yeah, move, moving around, we got this posse here. So we got Joanna, Christian, and Miguel here. All kind of badass runners in their own right. And up here, up here, getting some training in, getting a little altitude and escaping Phoenix. You know, we're we're six, seven hours depending on where exactly you're going, where you're coming from, from Phoenix to Durango. So it's perfect. It's like I don't know, a thousand degrees down there or something right now. So they can come up here and <laughs> enjoy the cold nights. <laughs> And yeah, rolling through here, this is just like communal stuff here, so this is normally not this messy when it's just when it's just me and, and Will in the house, but this is just stuff that's up for grabs, and you got some local beans and some Yeah, so this is this is that's the gist of it. We got some we got some protein and then of course mushrooms, loads of mushrooms around this house, some lion's mane, so people are getting down on that with coffee and stuff in the morning. Great for your central nervous system. And then down here just like some supplemental foods if I can kick Miguel out of here. Yeah, we got like a severe stash of keto bricks in this house. Keto bricks, so you know, that's a that's a sound effect. <laughs> so yeah, stash of keto bricks, thousand calories a piece, fit my macros like nothing else. So, and then just stash of mushrooms down here. So to go with the lion's mane, we got the cordyceps. And this is a good aerobic, um, hormonal kind of adaptogenic, good for testosterone. And then the Thrive Six, which is a nice holistic blend. And I don't know, we might edit this out. This is Thrive 7. This is Thrive 7, so this is Thrive 6 with some Solosities in it. <laughs> so yeah, just like, just like supplement stack that's up, for, that's up for, for Sharon in there. And then we'll go around and we'll hit the Red Mill next, I think. Here we go. It's like a, this is a coconut cream. Keto brick, it's a little melty. I've always sitting in the sun for a little while. <laughs> Probably like 100 calories in that bite. So yeah. I'll show you guys what's up here. This is usually the first question is, what's under the curtain when people walk in? So, I'll show you. I'll show you what's under the curtain. Let's see. Let's see if I can fall on camera. <laughs> Maybe. So yeah, this is something of my own design, so. You know, welcome to the mind of a lunatic. So, there's two of these in existence as far as I know. I've built both of them. And I endearingly call this... Oh, that's not going to stay. Yeah, man. There we go. First try, editing. <laughs> so yeah, in here, like anybody that runs on the treadmill, you got to cover up the console. So yeah. Sauna space brand stuff, no electromagnetic frequencies, 
and the highest percentage of the exact weight we want. And then you can come in here, this ghetto old, like, fourth hand, not even second hand, Nordic Track incline trainer. So, if Nordic Track wants to send us a new one, somebody hop on that. So, yeah, this boy will crank up to 10 miles an hour, 40% grade. And, you know, once 100K gets faster than six, mi six minute miles, then I'm going to have to have somebody update this treadmill. So, in here, you got here ambient, it'll get up to like 85 to 95. And then all these bulbs just cook you from the inside out. So I have these little, I have these little bun huggers. I'll show you when we get into the room that I wear in here because you want as much skin exposed as possible. And I've definitely birthday suited it before. That was good. But yeah, so this this hits you about from neck to you know mid to low thigh there, and then this front one hits you like knee, IT band, quad, hip flexors, into like upper shin. And so these guys are just like top of the line tech, and kind of bakes you from the inside out. So especially right now where I'm working through a little bit of lower leg pain right now and kind of just taking an off season just because I have nothing but time anyway with COVID stuff and nothing really going on. I'm just kind of taking an off season and I'm doing, I'm just walking, I don't know, 10 to 15,000 feet in here a week and just baking myself. So it's been great. This is, this is like one of my favorite assets of the house for sure. So then the red, the red mill is great for activity. It's great for heat shock proteins, but if you need if you're looking for detox or you're looking for uh, just like the, the perfect type of central nervous system stimulation, it's better to do the heat passive. So we have this kind of setup, not the prettiest setup with the bandanas, I suppose, but it fits. So we have this guy set up where we can take this over. And we can get in here and throw it into the pocket sauna. I'm going to duck in. So yeah, then we can throw that in here. This is all this all gets grounded so that the whole oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this all gets grounded. So then the whole box is then grounded. There's nothing treated, so none of it off gases. And then it's no EMF. And there's actually a Faraday cage around this. So this second little layer in here is all built in to block electromagnetic frequencies. So then our whole setup in here, once I roll up in here, you can get in here, strip down naked, and then do your quarter turns and get just get cooked. And then I'll even, sauna space probably isn't like this, but I'll sit on the side and get a little lower. And that way I can get basically thyroid, face and thyroid, get your heart, get your gut, get your nads. Anything with mitochondria is going to benefit from this. So this is, this is, again, it's like my favorite asset of our house here. One of my favorite toys for sure. I'm gonna give you the I'm gonna give you the full treat and show you guys the bedroom. So yeah, two rules, two rules in the house. First one, don't feed my dog. I don't get pissed off at anything, but if you feed my dog, that's it. It's game over, you're blacklisted. And no shoes in the bedroom. I'm gonna have sit you right in here too, relative to me. You guys can appreciate it. So yeah guys, this is this is my little cave in here in Winston's. So this is his cone of safety. He's a, he's a res dog, so he's still kind of, even though he's mostly rehabilitated, he's still a little bit arm's length with everybody. So this keeps him, this is his safe space. So if I have too many people over at the house, he'll peace out and just hang out in his little, his little cone of safety in here. So yeah, guys, this is, this, is, this is my personal space in here, although depending on how many people I have in the house, this is no longer personal. So it kind of works out that I'm not super materialistic. One exception for sure um, pillows. I like, I can't live without pillows. I could sleep on a hardwood floor before I would sleep without pillows. So this is a bed for one and there's what, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six pillows in there. <laughs> cool. Yeah. The other, the other like distinguishing feature about my own personal space that I would say is negative space maybe of just like my scandalous top drawer here with nothing in it. <laughs> and yeah, this is, that's kind of my life. And then I'll show you guys the closet. Which in the winter, when the space heater's out, that's it. This is a totally empty closet. So this this is the life. There's a little singing bowl in here. I might put 
I might put a candle on there for a candle meditation and I'm just gonna use use my space in here. And then yeah. Negative space, man. I think there's a lot of value in having intentionally left space, so this is kind of one of my things. I tell people you need very still water to see the ripples on it. So if I'm gonna test, you know, some intervention or some little thing that I think might help me, I need to have very, very still water to see if it's making ripples or not. So that's where we're at, and that's kind of the first thing I'm thinking when I wake up and the last thing I'm thinking when I go to bed. And having everybody here and hanging out and spending summer up in Durango is amazing. And, you know, this is home for me. I love it year-round. I snowshoe here in the winter, and I'm, I'm always here. This is definitely home. But it's been very, very restorative having everyone here. And I think playing with all the toys that I've, that I've amassed in here and stuff that I think works through that kind of trial and error and that still water, it's really great to share that all with people and to have to have like-minded people that appreciate it and can get something out of it and and put all my nerding out to work really so there you go the ultra house durango you can find out more at the ultrahouseblog.com and the ultra house on instagram Last but not least, we stopped by the Buffalo Lodge Bicycle Resort, where the Ram Party 50 mile race in May will start and finish. I was blown away by how cool the property is. There are 47 unique bike themed rooms and a large patio and lots of camping areas for a big party afterwards. We're so excited to have the Ram Party race here at the Buffalo Lodge Bicycle Resort. We've got the perfect location just less than a mile from Garden of the Gods. You can run right out of the lodge and right into the park and up Rampart Road and then have your friends and family waiting right here at our brand new outdoor patio finish line. We've got over 47 rooms on property, sand volleyball, swimming pools, so much to do. Uh, come hang and party with us. And we also carry only Colorado craft beer, wine, and spirits, and uh, it's amazing. I hope to see so many of you at the Ram Party in May and want to say thank you so much for joining our first episode here and look forward to seeing you next month for episode two.